yes, you, you, my dear friend, uh, allow Jesus to come into your life, uh, amen, and transform it, amen, amen. In today's episode of Encounter, you're going to hear a powerful story about how God set a woman free. How you're going to hear a story of deliverance, of salvation, of healing, and of forgiveness. You're going to see what Jesus can do in the heart of someone who would have gone through a difficult time in life. And if you are that person right now that you're going through a difficult season in your life and you don't know what to do, you don't know where to find help, my friend, take the next few minutes and listen to this powerful testimony. I guarantee you it will change your life. Now we're going to hear a story of transformation and forgiveness from our sister Donna Bengoje. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My testimony is coming out of an abusive relationship. I want to thank God that you know when He do our job, He do our great job in your life. I've been in an abusive relationship for over 28 years and it was abuse after abuse, verbal, mental, physical. I still have, carry scars on my body coming out of that relationship. I could not speak to any male. I was with everybody. While I was going to church, I was with everybody in the church, every male person. I was even accused of being with my pastor. When he heard this testimony, he's going to know this is the first time he'd be hearing this. I'd never told him this. But after in that, being in that relationship, it was, you know, horrifying. I would be abusing the road. I'll be abusing my home. Physical abuse after abuse. And, you know, after one day, I decide enough is enough. And a Sunday evening, I pick up myself and I walk out of that home, not looking back. But, you know, like I say, when God does something, do a great thing in your life, you know, my abuser, after more than about 15 years, he became ill and one of his feet was amputated and thing. And, you know, I had pity on that person. I didn't carry any resentment towards them I guess because you know go and God clean up your life it is well done and God removed every animosity from and within my heart towards that person I was able to be there to buy medication when they release him to the necessities for things bed pan whatever I put out my money and without any remorse any hesitation or anything like that I was able to be there for that person one leg is amputated and a few years after another leg got amputated and I was still there for my abuser, for, well my ex-abuser sorry. But I want to thank God that you know he cleaned up my heart that I didn't carry around anything towards him. I encouraged my children, they wasn't even interested in going and seeing him or taking care of him or anything like that. But my encouragement to them was to look for your father. Go and visit your father. Help. See about him. I would let him take me there. I would go and clean his house and things like that because he was living by himself and nobody to do it. And I would, like Christmas time, I would say, carry me and let us go because we would go and clean up and thing. So I want to thank God in spite of, you know, sometimes we go through things and we hold on to animosity. We hold on to the hurt and the pain and things like that. But, you know, ask God, if you're going to that, ask God to deliver you, not to hold on to the pain, not to look back at all what was, but look forward to God who will going to take you through a better life. I want to thank God this morning for his wonderful love, caring for me, looking after me, protecting me, keeping me, because it, trust me, it could have been worse. When I remember at one time, he was shot in a cutlass. And I had witnessed to somebody, and that same person I used to witness to, she came along with another woman. They were going from house to house. And I believe it's God sent those people that my life was saved on that day. Right? And then soon after, that is when I decided that this is enough is enough. 
so you know god have his way of protecting you of keeping you and keep it not just keeping you physically but emotionally mentally keeping you and sustaining you in those areas so i want to thank god for his deliverance in my life and i pray this testimony is going to be a blessing to anyone who has gone through this kind of trauma god bless wow what an amazing testimony today from sister donna i thank god for the wonderful things he has done in her life i didn't know he can do the same for you second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 says that my grace jesus is saying my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in your weakness you see my friend no matter what you're going through what you're facing right now his grace is more than sufficient you might be going through a terrible season in your life a terrible moment in your life maybe you can identify with sister donna right now i want to let you know that in christ jesus you can find freedom in christ you can find hope in him you can find deliverance you can find the breakthrough that you need or maybe you're in a situation there is unforgiveness in your heart there is anger there is hatred there is bitterness my friend today in christ jesus where you are weak in him you can be made strong he can give you the power to forgive he can give you the power to turn your life around today would you like to receive jesus christ as your lord and personal savior would you like to experience this life transformation this change this freedom then repeat this prayer to me say dear god i want a change in my life and right now I confess and I repent of all my sins. I surrender my life to you. I ask you to come into my heart, wash me, cleanse me, purify me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my situation and change it for your honor and for your glory. And from this point forward, I will serve you and you alone. Thank you for coming into my heart, for coming into my life, for being my Lord and bringing that change that I so desperately need. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen.